Morning all, it's very early Sunday morning, about half past seven. Uh, I'm in Norwich, Norfolk, well, just outside on the A47. I'm waiting here for an owner of an Ionic Electric. Efficiency, as you know, is my thing. If you watch some of my videos, I really do enjoy efficiency. And I love the Kona Electric's efficiency. And if I have a different car in the future, I do worry about what it would be like owning a car with less efficiency because you know, sometimes it doesn't really matter because, you know, electricity is cheap, so it doesn't really matter how much you're using. But your lifestyle and how you charge the car and how often you have to charge it, how many miles you can add through your solar system on your roof, that's impacted by efficiency. So the Ionic, let's say it was twice as efficient as the Kona. Well, I would have to have it plugged on to my solar for half as much time to get the same amount of miles. And yeah, that's what interests me, that balance about how efficient the car is and how easily you can add miles to the car. And that makes your enjoyment of owning an EV all that much better. It must be more difficult to own a car with a smaller battery that's really inefficient because that way you're not going very far, you're charging a lot of the time and you're not getting very many miles per kilowatt hour of um, electricity that you're adding. So on the solar especially, it must be quite frustrating. The iPACE was a good example. I tested the iPACE and I absolutely loved the drive of the car. I would love to own one, but the reality of how inefficient it is and how few miles I would get plugging it into my solar system, it just doesn't really balance. It doesn't balance in my lifestyle. If I had a solar system two or three times the size of what I've currently got, mine's 3.9 kilowatt P, peak power output. If I had much, much more, then it would make more sense and it would balance towards being able to charge the iPACE just from solar. Whereas the Kona Electric um, is much more efficient than the iPACE and I do get some good miles uh, per kilowatt hour out of the Kona Electric. So it balances quite well and I can charge virtually all from solar. Obviously not during the winter, but definitely during the summer it looks like I can charge purely from solar. All of April, all of May, basically so far, I have been charging just on solar. Today is going to be a bit of an exception because I'm down to just under 200 miles of range. I'm about to do another 50 miles and I won't be charging. It's a grey day outside. So I'm down to 150. This afternoon I'll be doing another 50, so I'll be down to 100. I'm getting low. Um, 100 to me is low and I'll want to top it up some more. So hopefully the sun will be out in the next few days and I'll be able to charge just from solar. If not, I'm going to have to pay for some electricity, aren't I? That'll teach me for doing these sort of tests, I guess. Anyway, I'm waiting for Justin. Hopefully he won't be long, and we'll see what his Ionic Electric is like. So again, this isn't a test. This isn't a race to see whose is the best. Um, although Justin does seem competitive. Um, this is to see how much more efficient the Ionic is, because it definitely is efficient. It's definitely better than the Kona Electric. So we shall see. Uh, Justin, I believe, has driven roughly about 10 miles to get here um, so I've done exactly the same to try and have the same cold startup we're in the same area same temperatures hopefully we've got a like for like test and it'll be reasonably accurate here we go then it does look nice and white very clean I really want to swap this for the new Ionic I really want to mm -hmm. and yeah, if it does 200 mile range and charges are getting more prevalent everywhere, do I really need to? Well, we've already do said. I, do I yeah. really need this? Yeah. No. But every time I go on a long trip, like I did 300 miles the other day, and it's, I won't be able to do that. Yeah. And it's, yeah, yeah, can yeah. I let go of that yeah, yeah, yeah. extra bit? I mean, I, because I've worked. And the efficiency's drawing me. I've worked, because <laughs> I've worked up from really dreadful 24 kilowatt leaves. Which was great, I loved it. Yeah. But when you work your way up, I sort of think You couldn't uh, go back. I couldn't go back and I sort of think, well I don't I don't know if I'm But I don't think I'll be allowed to. Susan hates them. Does she? She, she just says it's a rep car. You know, I mean I look at it and the sideways angle, yeah, it's rep mobile. But I look at it and I like to see the lights. Yeah, it can, curve, yeah, sometimes it looks like it, a Monday. It, it's the it's the features that I like. <laughs> And but you have to look more closely to to see the features that you oh, like. I love it. I love and it. I was really not sure when we first saw one, but then I, you just, I think I just... really enjoyed driving the plug-in hybrid, and I haven't driven an all electric. Yeah, the, 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 the thing. Yeah. Well, if I enjoyed the plug-in hybrid, and I hate plug-in hybrids, I've tried a few now, and they're all horrible. All the noise. And if and I the... enjoyed it, 
then I would really, really enjoy that. And you think the efficiency as well? Yeah. I've our, ours is not designed for speed. It, it's at just all. a bit softer. Yeah, it's yeah. If you put your foot down. It just it doesn't have the acceleration particularly. Good. Because <laughs> <laughs> I well, I I drive it a bit too quick. I think, but because it's got such narrow tyres, yeah. it does it does make a huge difference. Whereas our Leaf grips better in the corners, admittedly. <laughs> anyway, come on, let's do this. Let's do let's this. Do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've got to go back to Yarmouth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Good grief. <laughs> so I've got Justin here with me. Uh, Hello. Justin's kindly volunteered to use his Ionic. We're going to do a test today. We're going to test efficiency, not to see who wins, yeah, <laughs> because no. you're going to win. I will it, it's thrash by, you. It, it's by how much that I'm really interested in. I, I'd like to find out because you, you see a lot of efficient drivers yeah. and they get silly high numbers on this, on the yeah, Kona, yeah, yeah. and also on, yeah, on yeah. the You think, well, I wonder what. I would get so I yeah, thought yeah. if we do a test, yeah, driving yeah. exactly the same. I think it's worth it, worth yeah, a try, yeah. isn't it? Even even though it's cold. Cool. <laughs> anyway, we haven't really met before until today. No, uh, we haven't. No. I met uh, Justin on Twitter. Yeah. Sounds like a date, doesn't it? it does yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough of the introduction. Let's get going. Yeah. Just as we arrive at the destination, I decide to have a look around Justin's Ionic and see how similar or how different it is. And yeah, it is, isn't it? It's very much Hyundai, it's very much the same, but very different as well. The Ionic's got, I don't know, it's got the same materials, the same look, the same feel, and yet it just looks a little more premium somehow. Yeah, and it's got memory seats as well. There's not a lot that this has that yours doesn't really. Apart from the auto recuperation and the, the nice up. LED lights. Heads up, do you know, I just, the only time I really use it is when I've got a camera in the way of the dash. Because ah, I can still see the speed. Ah. 
But other than that, I do like I do like the um, the way yours changes. And um, the sport and the dynamic, yeah. The sport's the same roughly, but the actual eco is nicer. Yeah. Right. Anyway, scores on the door for the video. Yep. Let's do it. I got five point one, so I was doing about four point six, four point seven on the yep. dual carriageways. Pulled in, parked. 5.1. What and about mine's yourself? 5.2 at the end. Yeah. But I was doing 4.7, 4.8. But as soon as we hit the slower traffic below 40, yeah. it just in quick, just creeps up. If I'd have carried on, it would have gone higher. Well, again. congratulations, you won. You had, you had a better number. <laughs> Only just. <laughs> yeah. Only just. But I'm I, stunned how efficient this is. I'm not sure if it'll be on the video or not, but I did call you up, didn't I, to say, yeah. have you remembered to reset yeah, your trip you meter? Yeah. I thought you said. I hadn't, so you were then resetting, so I reset mine oh, to be the same. Oh. So actually, I've got two miles of pulling away that I haven't got on there, so <laughs> I'd probably say 0.1 knock off. I probably yeah. would have got five, not yeah, 5.1. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah, but that's close, closer than I thought. It's close, yeah, that is close. Change so again. If we'd have driven at 70, I would have gone down more than you, I think. Because you're I'd more, have you're sat more probably around 4.8. Yeah, so if you're going above the 60 65 that yeah, we did, yeah, you yeah. would have done better. Yeah. But if we're going through the city, what do you think then? I think they're about equal. I think, yeah. I think, I think they'd probably be about equal if we were driving through the city. I think because this has got good regen, ours has got good regen as well. Although well, yours, will, yours will stop. But I think as, as soon as you hit traffic, as long as it's not dead stop, and you need to have lots yeah. of air conditioning on, you can actually get some good figures. Well, there we go. That's the test complete. I'm now sat on a pod point charger at Lidl, um, just topping myself back up while we're here. It was an ideal place to come and have a chat and compare numbers. And uh, yeah, I was getting a little bit low and there's not a lot of sun in the next couple of days. So opportune time just to top up for free from pod point. Thank you, pod point. Thank you, Lidl, for um, having this charger working again. Um, the results. Um, the Ionic versus Kona Electric. I, I'm actually quite shocked. The efficiency of the Ionic is better than the Kona. We've, we've proven that. And this was a rough approximate uh, test. This this Kona is now, is now even better than what I thought. Yeah, I'm quite surprised. Talking to Justin about that, he was saying um, the numbers really shoot up into the sixes and high sixes when the weather is much warmer and the car's warmer. And once the heat gets there and you're driving, say, through the city centre, the efficiency is incredible. And yeah, the Kona is too. Um, from this trip here at this charger back home to so about a 10 mile trip across the city centre and some small country lanes, I have managed on a on a sunny day, uh, over seven miles per kilowatt hour. So the Kona is actually getting very, very similar results to the Ionic. I guess where the Ionic scores hugely will be the aerodynamic shape. So it's as you get up to speed and above 60 miles an hour, so the 60 to 70 miles an hour speeds, that must be where the Ionic really gains. So motorway driving effectively, which I don't do. Um, I avoid motorways if I can. So for my style and speed of driving and the roads I travel on being between 40 and 60 miles an hour, there's not a huge difference between the Ionic and the Kona. And frankly, I'm shocked. I really thought there would be probably close to a one mile per kilowatt hour difference between the two, but no. There isn't. Yeah, what do you think? Do you do you think that was valid enough? Do you think I'm right that it's not as big a difference as I thought? Or do you think my test was a load of rubbish <laughs> and uh, hasn't given a true indication? Um, yeah, I'm going to be thinking about this for quite a while now. Um, it's not it's not the result I expected. But that is the result. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you for subscribing, as always. I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope it's uh, of interest to you if you're considering, say, the new Ionic versus buying a new Kona. Thanks again for watching. Take care for now. See you again soon. Bye-bye.